Yo, what's going on guys? It's JSHD here back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really unique shutter transition in Sony Vegas. So yeah, as you're watching it, just want to say thank you to, to Harry McCoy, who's a fellow editor who suggested me this tutorial. So I'll leave a link below and you can go check him out. So yeah, hopefully you saw what happened in the preview just there. So first of all, let's just import our kill cam clip and then go along into the kill cam where you want the transition to happen. So you want it to say like after the kill and mine's fine just there. So you've got to go into your previewing mode and make sure it's on best full just while we take a snapshot. Um, and just take a snapshot. And then what you want to do is go to the end of the clip and drag it to where you took the snapshot like so. And then we want to insert a new video track and insert the snapshot then we want to insert two more video tracks so we've got f four in total three of them have the snapshot on them now on the top video track the first one what we want to do is go on to the event panel crop and then go on to the mask and we just want to mask out the bottom bar so I'm just going to quickly do this obviously you want to make yours as perfect as possible um, I'm not because I'm just doing this to show you not as an actual edit so yeah mine really isn't that perfect at all <laughs> but never mind let's quickly do that and then on the second layer we want to also go onto the event pan and crop and then go onto the mask and then we're just going to mask out the top one which is a bit easier because it's just straight and then that's that bit done Okay, so the next bit we need to do is go back onto the top layer and go back onto the event panel crop and this time go onto the position instead of the mask and let's just say we go along two seconds we want to move um, the bottom bar up so as you can see as I move this down it goes up so I'm just going to keep moving it down with the arrows on my keyboard till I think it's in about the middle which is about there I think I'll just go back up so yeah two seconds um, if you want it to be quick I'll just do it like one and a half that's the transition um, so now we're going to go on to the second layer just do the exact same thing pretty much this time we're going to move up using the arrows and make it so they touch um, you don't really want them overlapping but you don't want them to leave a gap in between in between so just make them touch um, like that like so and then thirdly we want to go onto the screenshot which we haven't masked go on event pan and crop and that and what you want to do is click the top um, side of the box and while holding control you want to drag it down like this as we can see like it's cutting off the video and we just want to cut it down so that it's like in between these two and then we want to just um, cut this down to where it disappears like that and then we want to import our clip our second clip that is um, like so so just where these two meet we want the clip to appear um, I hope I'm explaining this well but it's quite hard to explain but it's not that hard at all so now we're going back onto the top layer and now we want to just move this one back so we want to move along on our timeline say another two seconds so I'm just going to go to four seconds and then I'm going to move the bottom bar right off the screen so I'm going to move it right down until it's off the screen okay it's completely off now I'm going to go on to the second layer <coughs> sorry and uh, also on four seconds I want to move this one completely off the screen okay now that's completely off the screen and now finally I want to go on to the second clip and go to the start of it and I need to do the holding control bit again but for this clip so at the start I'm gonna hold down control until it's hidden by the bars like so and then I'm gonna go along uh, two seconds there and then I'm going to just go up to the top where it says preset just click that little drop down and just click default 
so now if I quickly just run through this what we can see happen is there's the game winning kill then the bars go down and then the bars move back up revealing the new clip so yeah that's it for this tutorial um, I hope you've understood it um, if you haven't just leave a comment and I'll try to help you even more also if you've got any suggestions for future tutorials let me know and if I think um, a lot of you would like to see that then I'll be sure to do it so yeah thank you for watching as always this has been JSHD make sure you subscribe for more tutorials I'm out peace guys